Tonight, a lot of businesses are welcoming customers inside for the first time this year. And while many of the province's restrictions have been lifted, some still remain, like capacity limits and vaccine passport checks. Joining us now live is Sylvie Lenve. Good evening, Sylvie. Taz, we were in Niagara Falls this morning and it was quiet there, sort of like it is here on King William Street in Hamilton. Of course, it is a Monday, so we can't expect things to ramp up this weekend, but the people who were out today enjoying those amenities that uh, are open, they were excited about it. So were business owners because, of course, we know Niagara Falls is known for its tourism. So we know what our destination is capable of. We've seen the numbers over the years. We've seen the level of satisfaction that people report when they come here. And our eyes are firmly on that goal. We're getting right back to where we were. Tourists and Niagara residents were out this afternoon enjoying being able to do what many of us used to take for granted, like eating indoors. We came out here to support the local business. We do a lot of takeout and uh, we do that and try to buy local and just help all the family, family run business here. They do a great job and we just try to support them. We just talked about going to a movie and that might be something on the radar. But at least we have the option to be able to, to go somewhere. We've been waiting a while to come back. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of takeout and we're looking forward to getting back to uh, normal. Excited to be, you know, going back to the gym and all that, back to socialization. The Niagara Falls Convention Center is getting ready to open up at 50% capacity. On a building like this with occupancy of 6,700 people, it's significant. It basically means we can get back to hosting meetings, we can get back to hosting concerts, hosting major events, hosting trade shows, and importantly, we'll be allowed to serve food at those events, which recently we haven't been allowed to do. We'll be having the trues come back on March 4th and on uh, March 5th we'll have Blue Rodeo back in the building. Joel Noden from Niagara Falls Tourism says during the summer and fall months when amenities were open, visitations were almost at 2019 levels. So he says the demand is there. We want to see families down here having a good time. Uh, they haven't been able to do this now for about a month and it'll be nice to have them back and uh, enjoy themselves. See this see the smiling eyes because you still won't see their smiling faces. Restrictions easing means arcades like the Great Canadian Midway can finally open. I'm just happy to be here. I've never been here yet. They're really enjoying. Finally they can go out and have fun somewhere, you know. it's uh, It's been very cold outside so it's a perfect place to spend some time. Yeah. Gatherings have now increased to 10 indoors and 25 outdoors. Ontario will remain in this step until February 21st when once again restrictions will be eased.